and science. In this video, we're going to go over some basics of integers, and we're going to refresh how to express each written expression as an integer. We're going to write the opposite of an integer. We're going to evaluate each absolute value expression. We're going to use the greater than, less than, or equal sign. And we're going to order and review how to go from least to greatest using a number line. And just to refresh you, an integer is a number with no fractional part, no decimals. These include counting numbers, zero, and negative counting numbers. So let's get started. Okay, up first, we are going to express each written expression as an integer. A loss of 14 yards. Okay, imagine we're playing football. Here is the line of scrimmage. Positive would be a gain towards the end zone. Negative would be going backwards. So it would be minus or negative 14. 42 feet below sea level. Here's sea level. Positive is above sea level. Under the sea is negative. So it would be negative 42. And finally, a gain of 10 pounds. My dog, it's a small dog, only 10 pounds, eats 8 pounds of dog food, so it gains from 10 to 18 pounds. So that would be a positive 8. And if you'd like, you don't really do that much, but you see the point. It'd be a positive 8, or you could just write it as 8. Okay. Find the opposite. Technically, this is the additive inverse, is what you need to add to the number to get to 0. Also, you may have heard it explained as a number that the same distance away from zero. So if negative four, and can we see this? I'll move it up just to here. Okay, if negative four is here, we have one, two, three, four units. What's another number that is also four units away? One, two, three, and this is positive four. So negative four, the opposite is positive four. Now we have seven, seven is here. It's seven units away. On the negative side, what's seven units away? That is negative seven. Notice that they are both the same equal distance away from zero. That's what an opposite is, okay? The additive inverse. And negative two, negative two is one, two. I'll circle it. And so positive two, one, two would be the same distance. So that would be two, okay? Opposite, same distance from zero each of these. Next, let's evaluate the absolute value expression. And it is very similar. It's basically, whenever we see these brackets, that is absolute value. It's just the distance or the number of units away from zero it is. So negative 17 is right here. And if we count, there are 17 units from zero to 17. There's 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. So negative 17, the absolute value of negative 17 is 17 because it's 17 units away from zero. Nine, absolute value of nine, it is right here and it is nine units from zero. So it's nine and negative five is one, two, three, four, five units from zero. So that would be five also. Okay, sometimes we get confused with the greater than, less than, but most people know the equal. That's pretty easy. So the way I remember is the larger side is always pointed towards the larger number. Okay, so it points in the direction of the larger number. And notice what I'm talking about. This side is larger than this side. Larger, smaller. I'll write an L. Larger, smaller. So let's apply this. And let's use the number line. Okay. We know that everything in this direction on the number line is smaller than what numbers are on this way. Okay, So we have negative 4 here, and we have 4 right there. Negative 4 is further, it's in this direction, so it's smaller than positive 4. So I'm going to write the smaller end, so it will be negative 4, is less than 4. Notice the smaller end is pointing towards the smaller, and this is pointing towards the larger. Negative 12, which is right here, 10 is here, okay? So it's to the left of 10, so again, negative 12 is smaller than 10. Now, negative 16, negative 16 is here, okay? I'll circle, 
negative 4 is here. So negative 16 is to the left of negative 4. So although you would think 16 is bigger than 4, but it's not, it is actually less than. Okay? So again, the sign is pointing towards the larger side is the larger number. Okay. Now, last but not least, let's order these from least to greatest, and I'm going to put them on the number line. Okay? So now we have negative 3. Okay? We have 2. So negative 3 is here. We have 2 is here. We have negative 5 is here, right here. And then we have 1, which is right there. So from least to greatest, there's our order. Negative 5, negative 3, 1, and 2. Again, everything to the left is smaller to the numbers to the right. So let's do the next one. Negative 7 is here. 5 is here. Negative 9 is here. And 0 is here. So again, now we already have them in order. Negative 9, negative 7, 0, 5. Again, because everything to the left is smaller than numbers to the right. I hope that helps. If you need additional information about integers, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching Moo Moo Math and Science.